god. It's every zombie film ever. It's them all. Oh wow, really? Oh my god. Get ready for some slapstick zombie comedy. Look at that. Um, wow. Take that, Dead Rising. We did it before you. Risen and they're laying waste to the Mega Mall. Odds on Judge Death has something to do with this. I'll deal with this control. Let me know as soon as you hear anything of the Dark Judges. So welcome back to Judge Dredd vs. Death. We've still forgotten about the Dark Judges, I guess. I mean, in the last episode we kind of just ran into crime, and now we're doing it again. But this time the crime is undead. All the functioning fire doors are sealed shut, but there are still one or two routes through. It's like some kind of horror vid slug in there. The survivors don't stand a chance! A vid slug. What is that even a reference to? Uh, it, I, it's like a tridio, I guess. Okay, fair enough. So this is a new enemy type, it's actual zombies. Like all zombies, they're slow and they bleed green. They're also immune to fire. I noticed that you're um, being a bit more high and loose with your incineration right there. That's not me, that's the friendly judges that are setting everything on fire. You've oh. also got the judge shotgun, which is one of the best weapons in the game. As we're about to see. Well, I mean, zombies in a mall, I feel like a shotgun is pretty much a way to go, isn't it? Yeah. Mega Mall research has shown that buying things may actually boost your immune system, improve your eyesight, and even reduce cholesterol. This rampant consumerism makes my skin crawl. Oh boy, oh boy, the satire. Every, every time I play this, I uh. find myself closer and closer to dread. <laughs> Because the satire is so on the nose, but <laughs> Dread's also on the nose. Damn consumerism. You bring me closer to Dread! Alright. <laughs> Sorry. So, for some reason in the future they still have DVDs, and for some reason in the future they, they still have cash machines at checkouts. Like, I mean, they can only predict so much before it just gets weird. Before they go full Tron with it. Inside your computer is its own magical world. Well, no, but not it doesn't go quite that far. No, magic's being destroyed from computers. Next year in England, we're going to have to do credit card ID checks for porn. Is that actually a thing? Because yeah. uh, <laughs> oh dear. Mm. But do you know what isn't porn? Judge Dredd vs. Death. Well, for some, And maybe. this mission. This is actually a store, if you didn't know. I guess it's the lamp store. They sell six lamps all the same, and that's it. Consumerism warn you about? Why not try one of the tasty snacks on offer at the Mega Mall's very own food court? Well, that was aptly timed on the tannoid. I love the, that they just keep actively calling it consumerism. I mean, it's what it is. <laughs> they can't even be subtle. It's great. Someone actually pointed this out on the Let's Play thread, but there's an advert for Synthcath there, and in the Judge Shred universe, Synthcath was too addictive, so they had to change it to Synth Synthcath. <laughs> <laughs> also, on the Tannoid, someone got recorded dying. Now, I don't know if people know how tunnels work but it's not live advertisement <laughs> reading so i guess that they woman just was just there over just the tunnel the they've always had that audio of her screaming and dying i thought uh the best take we're we'll gonna leave get it in we'll yeah. leave it in good enough that's what happens if you skimp on freelancers so this is the true horror of this mission we just picked a present off of a uh, medic but oh no he is the undead who can we oh. trust our shotgun, I guess. If uh, your allies die in this from zombies, the other judges, they get back up as zombies as well. Um, which I remember mainly from the co-op. Sadly, the co-op's been deadified. But if your co-op partner got killed by a zombie or a vampire, then they'd also rise up as undead. Oh, die. Yeah. Okay. And then just... Is that to say that they, the player, would then have to try and kill you, or that the AI would take over to do that? The, t the AI would take over. Your, oh, your buddy okay. friend would respawn. Uh, Fair either enough. at checkpoint or in like five seconds. This mission's bizarre, because mm -hmm. I don't remember this part of a mall. I don't know what it's meant to be, but 
you can stay slightly out of bounds and the zombies will just walk into the fire and hump the air. Look at them rail up. Look at that, those sweet zombie moves. Now this is Thriller. That's some cold shit because the heat seeker won't lock onto him. I think earlier in the series well, I mentioned he's how... He's, he's an actual zombie, he doesn't have body heat. I think earlier in the series I mentioned how it doesn't lock on for vampires, it's zombies it doesn't lock on for vampires, it works fine. Mm. But zombies take like no fire damage. So yeah, that AI didn't recognise me because it couldn't reach me so it just stayed in place. Also you can fall through that little gap there and die. Okay, well, I'm glad I'm glad you didn't do that. <laughs> well, <laughs> wow. I didn't show it game. in this run. Another oh, one of no. those fidgeting character models. Just punch him in the cod piece. Rest in peace, fellow judge friends. May you hold a fascist regime in heaven. So, I still don't know what part of them all this is. This is, I'm gonna assume this is just like, these are the back. This is some bizarre level design. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe they're just like the back rooms, like the emergency rooms. They've got like a wrap. Oh, the or emergency something. rooms. Okay. Yeah, in case there's any emergency consumerism, like at Christmas. I mean, this is the world of Judge Dredd where there are literal zombies and demons and dark judges. I think, I think having a couple of panic rooms is more logical than anything else. You took your time, bitch. So, this section is really bastardly annoying because as you saw there, I had to run past the zombies that were blocking the hallway. If you stop to kill even one of those, two zombies that I killed just there spawn in front of these guys and kill them and you fail the objective. Oh, dang. So you now have NPCs to escort and you don't arrest them? No. What is this? What is this bizarre change of pace? I guess Judge Dredd has now become a liberal. Ugh, <laughs> damn liberal judges. I don't know. His words, not ours. So, you know. He's learned basic empathy. This shotgun just wrecks everything. Mm. It's stronger than the little... The other weird shotgun that we had in the previous level. Uh, but it doesn't have any ultimate fire modes, like the uh, Lawgiver. Do you really need that when you can just murder them when they get anywhere near you, though? I mean... Not really. Oh, and in case you haven't realised it yet, here's some more uh, exposition shoved down your face about why there is the zombies. It's all a big pet cemetery, do you then? Also, the audio doesn't change for the outside here. It still sounds like we're inside. It didn't change anything. Okay, so we got these guys out. Do we have to go in and uh, save a couple more then? Yeah, we still got more objectives. We can't jump in that ship. There's an invisible wall right in front of the door. You know, we wouldn't want to run in there and do nothing. That would just be unjudgely of you, wouldn't it? Of course. So... Now let's shoot all the some vampires. vampires in the goddamn Oh my face. god, looters in the stores. You know, I think we've got higher priorities right now. Uh, apparently not. Apparently Judge Dredd needs to arrest the rioters. Oh hey, let's just throw bouncing bullets everywhere. I mean, give them some bloody credit. There are actual zombies attacking. Get in the mall. Fascist! Yeah, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> you picked the wrong day to go shopping, creep. Dread, what does that line even mean? What does that line even mean? You picked the wrong day to go shopping, creep. I'll be back with some brass knuckles. Come and that guy doesn't even know I'm here. He's just, he's fine with this whole ordeal. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. You've upset him now. The best things in life are free. Don't move, creep. Truck, not again. Ten why would you, why would you turn to a judge and say that? I sure do love doing crime and stealing. Oh, wait. Boy, do I love theft, which is what I'm doing right now. I sure do hate the law. I hate boomboxes. Uh, punched it into oblivion. 
I guess that's this is a right, no, that's fine. desktop computer and boombox store. Well, now it's just you a know, computer store because you blew up the blue the boombox. Do you remember what I told you about checkpoints and AI in a previous episode? Yeah. Ta -da. <laughs> wait, wait, I'm right in front of you, mate. What up, zombos? Like, even he's come even? to join, and oh, never mind. Okay. How do you mess well. up zombie AI? I mean brains, but then again... I'm right next to you. They're very ambivalent zombies. There's dinner right in front of them, and I guess they're, they're too polite. They'd rather break dance. It's like Shaun of the Dead, where they all dress up like zombies themselves and manage to infiltrate. I feel like that's kind of... Shaun situation. of the Dead was a comedy. I know, I know. I'm well aware, I have seen the film. So, given that... Ragdoll loves to mess around in this game. Let's knock him down the stairs and. Um, I guess that's too much. Should have maybe used the, use the explodey rounds where they go, where it goes a little higher. We haven't set a zombie on fire yet. Hey. There we are. That's pretty metal. Fortunately, that's it doesn't do anything, so we'll just. That'd be a good album the cover side. right there. Play jam, eh? Yeah, that's an old service. That's an old web service. Oh boy. Uh, like I bet that's not a thing anymore. So we got more in-game advertisement. It's not as blatant. And also, it's not a product that exists anymore. In there. Okay, time for some sweet night clubbing. Yeah, so in case you were too, like, panicked about all the death everywhere, here's some, like, comedy. <laughs> Oh man, the zombies are getting down with the fact They are beats. getting down with it. It's like that one Easter egg in Halo Reach, only this did it first. Take that, Halo Reach. Halo stole a lot from Judge Dredd. So Judge Dredd really was like a pioneer game. It did so many things yeah. first. So... Just in this little section, the AI does a little dance instead of anything. We've even got a disc jockey. Undead. Oh, please Look don't kill go. that one. Look how much yeah. fun he's having. That's the best gift in the world. You should party with Look him. Look at him go. He's getting right down with it. What? what? More love in, went into the animation for this one section than anything else in the game. So. I'm gonna. I'm not gonna gripe about that, that's awesome. I love this. This is great. I love this place. I thought I was going to die in this consumer's hellhole. Yes. How many times has this level said actively just said the word consumerism or consumerist? There's about four lines of dialogue that are on repeat. I love it. I love it so much. Thank God for the Justice Department. Yes, thank Grud. Dread is not a good man, I'm sorry, he's not. You are a bad judge of character. Cheekbones, Otto Sum's ugly clinic can change all that. You want ugly? The boys Otto from Sum Tech Division have opened up the doors to the main hub. Let's move. Yeah, I'm going to do my action voice. This is my action voice. I'm a voice actor. Judge time. All right, let's pop off some of these damn zombies. Yeah, so. Yeah, it doesn't want to help, so I guess I'll do everything for him. Yeah, he was just casually strolling, not just not giving the slightest semblance of a toss right there. This is a really ugly design level as well. Like, I mean, <laughs> as opposed to all the others, but uh, no, there's there's a lot of empty hallways in this game. Oh, right, right. So it's actually it's actively not that fun to play. I thought you meant ugly in its. You know, no, it's just, just of the model, a lot of open hallways, essentially. There's nothing interesting going on, going on in the level design for your eyes to settle on. You see this? It's I gather it's an abandoned mall, but you think you'd see more. It's just like a lack in level design. Carnage and destruction, and just stuff happening. But what's odd is that it's mainly this level only, but it does not like to load properly. It stutters a lot. Huh. Uh, like, so like you know if you've got a, a game that runs like it needs a lot of processing power and it's usually like modern games that are poorly optimized where there's a lot of stutter and jumping where the game pauses while it loads it does that but you know, I've got a pretty good PC and 
know this is a pretty old game, but for some reason it just it likes to skip. I mean, you know, if you'd have told me beforehand that this game, Judge Dread vs. Death, was anything other than perfectly optimized, I'd have called you a fil I'd have called you a filthy liar, is what I would have done, but you know what, I, I guess I can accept that now, now that I've seen the stuttering. It's just on this level though. It's each level has its own weird quirks. Last level had weird levels of product placement. And this level stutters. This one's just broken. It just doesn't work properly. It doesn't it's work. It's a consumerist good. nightmare. <laughs> oh, he's curious also... as to what the next level's problem is gonna be. It's short. Oh, right. Oh well, there you go then. It's like five minutes long or something. But um, yeah, this level's actually a complete loop, which might explain why it's kind of buggy. Because as you can see, we're back at the start now. Huh, okay. Yeah. So I guess it, maybe it was rendering it all a little bit at the time. And they were sort of masking it like a, like what Dark Souls does, and I'm doing a thing that horrible critics do, which is compare it to Dark Souls. But the way that I'm, Dark Souls sure loads a level other, is that it's one level, but it... Problem. Yeah. it yeah, it renders so much of the level at once uh, as you go through it, even though it's one complete map. And I think it's what what's going on here. So, what I'm trying to say is Dark Souls copy Judge Shred versus Death verbatim. Yes, there we go. We got it. Yeah, just get to the checkpoint and all's well. I actually like the design of the ships in Judge Shred. They're nicer to look like. They don't look like children's toys like they do in. Star Fox or something. Most other sci-fi then. Yeah. All you the lives. All two character models that we save throughout this level copy pasted like three times. Okay, guys, get into the evacuation ship. It'll take you all straight to the cubes. Creatures, they're both infected with pet regen retrovirus. Looks like the dark judges aren't responsible then. Time I brought in Icarus for questioning. Where is he? He was last tracked landing at a disused facility out by the western perimeter of the city. So now we're going to arrest the guy, the who's... guy bringing the dead back to life. Yeah, now we're going to deal with the necromancer. Great, cool. I am the law. That you are, Judge Dredd. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. I thought I said SJW Judge for a second, but it didn't. <laughs> oh, great.